Thank you for joining us. And we are here at another one of our Pray TV programs, loving to be in the presence of the Lord and enjoying being with my wife, Charlotte. Just greet the folk. We certainly are enjoying God's presence. There's just so much truth that He's imparting these days. We see God really at work in unprecedented ways, and I believe we're going to see a lot more of it as the Spirit of God is breathing across the world, the entire world. Uh, don't allow discouragement to overcome you. I know we all have our moments, but really know that God is for us. He is fighting our battles, and He is doing so many wonderful things throughout the earth on behalf of His people. Well, we just want to just tell you how much we really appreciate you partnering with us in prayer, and I want you to know that the Lord values your prayers. It's a mystery, this whole thing of praying. It's not something that can be defined or understood on just the level of cognition or the level of reason alone. It is something that God does that is beyond our understandings. It's way past what we know in the natural. We do understand that all of the things of life, all of the things of His creation of us and His creation of all of the universe, is filled with mysteries. And there's so many layers of it that we will not be able to really understand it. We get glimpses of it. Science is helping, but we know that there are so many layers that are so complex and we can't get a perspective on it because we're in it. But I want for us to begin to look at a verse of scripture here today that is going to help us to really do a work of what I would call examination of our souls. This portion of scripture is taken from Psalm 19, and we are going to be looking at this whole thing about being able to discern what's going on inside of us. And this is difficult, like understanding the universe is difficult, understanding what motivates us, what moves us, what causes us to either respond positively to the Lord or, or with sinful actions. It's all very mysterious. But the Lord wants us to do the work of examining. And this examination is something that is going to help us. And we know that God's going to use this portion today to be able to bless us. Psalm 19 verses 12 through 14 in the New International Version of the Bible says, But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of the great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And Charlotte, I'm going to ask you if you would just share a little bit about this particular portion of Scripture that the Lord would minister and bless us with it. These verses really tie in with Psalm 51 as well, where David said that you desire truth in the inward parts. And we don't know ourselves. We really don't, not like God knows us. And it's so easy for our own hearts to deceive us. And so we have to do what David did in prayer, where he just asked the Lord to search him and to know him and to try his heart. And this may seem a little bit scary to you, but honestly, the Lord is so gentle. Whenever I've asked the Lord to search my heart, which is very frequently, because I don't see myself very well, um, and to search those hidden places where I have, you know, entertained a judgment. Even just this week, the Lord spoke to me about entertaining a judgment about someone. And, and I had to really go before the Lord and say, Lord, I just release this to you. But there is freedom in that. There is real sense of keeping accounts with God, keeping them really current and up to date so we don't get clogged up with a lot of junk in our innermost being. And so I just want to encourage you today, 
allow the Lord to do this in your heart because it is really something that will strengthen us. It will cause us to know God even better and to welcome His presence in our lives and to grow. And I know that we all desire to grow in the Lord and this is one way in which we do it. When I was a child, I heard a lot about prayer changes things and it does. But I'd like to suggest here today that prayer changes me and it changes you and that's what changes things. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, it does. And we are, you know, it's like uh, there's kind of a little joke about uh, this person who does an advertisement for wearing, uh, you know, getting hair transplants and stuff like that. And, and he kind of says, and I'm a client too, you know, and we are all clients of what God is doing in this area of transformation. We are being changed. And it's important that we do the work of examining our hearts, as Charlotte has alluded to. It's vital. But, you know, it's, it's, it's almost impossible for us to discern our own hearts and our own motives. People, everybody, the Bible says that uh, every man does right in his own eyes. And, and so really finding out and knowing how to be able to have discernment concerning our own errors and our own sinful ways is difficult. You know, it's almost much easier to look at somebody else's life and be able to see what they're doing wrong. But that's not what's important. What's really important is for us to be able to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to us what we need to change, what we need to alter, what we need to make subject unto Him. And He will give us the guidance that we need. And today we know that this portion of Scripture speaks directly to this in Psalm 19. And we're looking at verses 12 through 14 in the New International Version of the Bible. And this particular portion of Scripture says, But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of the great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Charlotte, would you just take us into prayer? Lord, we are very aware today that our words spring from the meditations of our heart. As Jesus said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And so Holy Spirit, would you just come gently into these hidden areas of our heart? And would you reveal to us, because of your great care for us and your desire that we become more and more like Jesus, and you who are our comforter and our teacher, and you make Jesus real to us, would you just shine your light deep into our hearts today, Lord? Would you just come, Holy Spirit, and would you just tenderly uproot things, Lord, in our hearts that maybe we haven't seen before. And you would just cause us to come more and more into the brilliance and the light of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. And Heavenly Father, we just are grateful that at this moment you are going to touch each and every one of us. You're going to open the eyes of our understandings because we are sincerely pursuing you. Father, we know that you are accomplishing your purposes in the earth through your people. And Lord, though it feels difficult for us to be able to shoulder such heavy responsibility, we know that ultimately the responsibility is yours. And we trust you. And Lord, when we do not see ourselves really well, we put ourselves before you and we ask that you would enlighten our eyes that you would change our hearts, that you'd transform our being, that you'd make us conform to your image, transformed into your grace. Lord, that we would shine like the stars of the heavens. That's what your word tells us we're supposed to do. And so, Lord, we just trust in you. 
you are working a great work in your people, and we're a part of it. You're doing it in each of our lives, and you're doing it in everyone that prays persistently and, and in a committed way and seeks you with all of their hearts. So Holy Spirit, we thank you you're doing this work and we're trusting in you. Continue to perform it until the day of Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you.